Hi, I'm Andrea Pike, and today I want to take a little bit of time to tell you a little bit about my husband and our story. My husband, Bob Pike, was an interesting and unique and talented man. He was the author of 42 books. He was inducted into the Speaker's Hall of Fame. He was inducted into the Legends as a speaker. He was given the Lifetime Achievement World uh, Award as uh, a trainer. And he mentored a lot of people in his life. But after a long time, he was diagnosed with stage four renal cancer and it was metastatic. We had to make some decisions and planning and after three years, we came to the conclusion that we were going to do something different for our end of life planning. We were contacted by a dear friend, Kathy Dempsey, and she asked us about a celebration of life for Bob while he was still alive. Bob thought that was just great. I mean, I think he said at one point, this is probably the best stuff I'll ever hear about myself. I want to be there to experience it. And that's exactly what we did. And because he had so many friends and contacts all over the world, well, we had well over 100 people at our home and several people from around the country got together and made it available for people to come into our home from around the world. We just had to schedule it at times that weren't so difficult for people. Um, like getting up in the middle of the night. And we were able to hear from people about what they thought about my husband. And he was able to tell me and our children and our friends what they meant to him. And it was such a perfect end of life planning situation. And so I would encourage all of you out there who are doing something or thinking about something for yourself or a family member to consider a celebration of life while they're still here on earth. And you can make it a joyful and meaningful event. Now, the other part of that is that we decided not to have a funeral. We were so excited and happy about the celebration of his wonderful long life that we chose to make that the memory that I have from him. It was one of the greatest gifts that he ever gave to me. So, you know, if you're thinking about something like this, I'd say contact somebody like Kathy Dempsey. I, I think you might be pleasantly surprised.